What up, what up? It's Swift here coming at you with another Clash of Clans video for week 11 of CWL. We have One Hive 2.0 versus FFS. Gonna be showcasing some Town Hall 9 action, so let's get right into it. Alright, kicking us off here, we have Mr. Wick versus Flip in a Sui Lalo attack. Do you want to point something out here? It's nice to get as many air defenses as you possibly can. Um, so he gets a little creative with a CC lure here. Drops a few loons in a haste, taking out that mortar and archer uh, tower. Uh, successfully drawing the CC, D does fall short of the cannon. No big deal. Mr. Wick drops a king at uh, 12 o'clock on the gold mine to lure the CC. Uh, effectively uh, luring it onto the king, which is what he wanted here. Soften the CC with the uh, uh, poison, uh, and the queen will redirect towards that CC, and then finally the air defense. Popping the king ability, utilizing every ounce of HP there, so good work there. Um, uh, wizard really helping that queen stay on path. <clears throat> so... Um, we, we'll stall a little bit on this town hall, but uh, as she's working on the town, I do want to point something out here. That air defense right smack dab in the middle of the wizard tower farm. Uh, that is a, typically a very poor base design. You want those wizard towers uh, hitting the loons as they're pathing through the base. But uh, uh, let's carry on here. Dropping a few loons and uh, haste um, as we're working through this base here. Um, we did bring a rage, or Mr. Wick brought a rage and a skelly, uh, but uh, the loons end up pathing around that last wizard tower in the center, so it essentially loses its effectiveness. Uh, so we might be in a little trouble here. Uh, and what it looks like, uh, the skellies did manage to get a little bit of the queen and knocked out, but with the rage still up, it redirects the loons towards that last wizard tower, and we're able to take out that queen with the remaining skellies. So, good work here. Uh, going against the current with this sweeper, uh, as these loons make their way towards that last expo. Um, notice we still have the queen ability, a wizard, and two minions for cleanup. Um, and a uh, heal spell, which he does drop. The question is, are we going to get another hound pop? There is a Tesla farm up, so we may get another Hound Pop, and this will be easy cleanup for Mr. Wick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this, uh, because this is, this is pretty much wrecked at this point. And he finally gets the uh, Hound Pop. So, uh, we got all Hounds uh, popped in this raid, and I was just a really uh, effective strategy for this style of base. So, uh, hats off to Mr. Wick for doing such a, a great job with his hit uh let's go ahead and take a look at the war details here and uh pick another base to uh show off here so let's see what we got here we got a lot of good attacks um had some hiccups along the way but uh some really good attacks nonetheless so pulling up heartless here um using a stoned uh well actually yeah this is a stoned go ho um yeah, it's a, a, a stoned attack here. Uh, using a wizard at 6 o'clock and a baby. Um, we're going to get a lot of uptime from these uh, uh, two little troops here. Um, so the whole goal with this style attack, especially with these uh, peripheral or external uh, defenses, like the three mortars and the cannon that are all on the outside of the base, uh, it makes for a really quite easy funnel. But uh, since this was not a fresh hit, we do know where a uh, Tesla farm is. Um, so this uh, makes it a little easier for us. So dropping two golems at the Tesla farm. Um, dig at that archer tower. It was helped us uh, funnel a little bit wider with those wizards. The golem did redirect uh, towards that Tesla because the wizard, uh, excuse me, the baby dragon took out the cannon. Um, so we that that funnel was very effective, and all the troops have no place to go but in. Um, as the king's working towards that uh, king, as soon as they get enraged, they're going to redirect towards that. Uh, the same goes for the queen. So the CC is pulled, um, and then the uh, uh, poison is dropped. We're under fire of the wizard tower. I believe that the rage. Yeah. And the uh, hills was a little shallow, but 
we got a lot of uh, uh, real estate uh, taken care of with just the kill squad alone. Uh, so we're going to trickle in a few hogs here. No need for a spell. Did a really good job uh, with this kill squad getting as much um, uh, taken out as possible. So uh, really uh, awesome raid nonetheless. So uh, we're going to go ahead and fast forward this, I believe. Or maybe not. But uh, he's still got six hugs left in uh, um, his arsenal. So finally speeding it up. And then we finally swag the hugs. So <laughs> good job, but heartless. <clears throat> All right. Uh, pulling up the word details again. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some more hits here. So we had... Look at all these six packs. Like, uh, really good war for TT Sports Buff, JB Fuse, and Riggle. And I believe we're going to be showing some hits by Riggle as well. But pulling up JB Fuse's hit here, um, he takes a shattered approach, um, taking a few more wizards, and then uh, only two golems. We're going to create that nice funnel. Working through uh, these. Um, structures on the outside um one king or one golem goes in takes the jump <clears throat> effectively pulling the cc so the queen is stalled behind the golem which is a good thing you want that because she really needs to take out that queen and that cc ran into a little bit of trouble with that king and the golem at uh, uh toward going towards three uh just redirecting and and walking around so it was a little tight funnel. It's hard hard to make, but uh, I think we're okay. So starting the hog portion of the raid, um, and then early cleanup with the wizards up top um, does drop a heal. Where honestly, I, I would have dropped a heal as well. But the hogs just dance around the bomb tower and don't take the bait. But the queen will take out that bomb tower no problem. Um, so I have two hills left uh, and plenty of hogs to get the job done. Uh, the only thing we have to worry about is this wizard tower and expo at the end uh, did trigger a giant bomb. Um, so they're under fire now of the expo. But as he's trickling them in, he's, he's kind of just drawing the fire uh, to different troops uh, periodically. And that's really uh, what you want to do. It just kind of uh, spreads the love a little bit, so to speak. So let's speed this up and good raid JB. Um, next up, I'm actually going to go ahead and show uh, another hit by JB. So nice six pack my by my buddy here. So <clears throat> um, as you can tell, he, he really likes this shattered approach. Using the same um, attack uh, f for both, really. Um, so also want to point out that when you're taking on a 9v9, you want to look at the base such that uh, you're able, um, maybe not always, but typically people will bring a jump. And you, you want to find the, the entry point that you'll get the most value for the least amount of camp space. Uh, so the king does go in and the queen is working uh to assist the king. So we're going to take out that uh, enemy archer queen. No problem. CC did go up to the top golem, unfortunately. So the, it will force an early um, archer queen ability because of that Valkyrie. But uh, same uh, as last raid, we're going to start from 12 and work counterclockwise. Um, we're in a bit of trouble there, but they are under hill. There's a lot of skellies up and uh, Baron uh, two exos Baron down. Uh, don't have any ability. I mean, I'm sorry, no no uh, uh, hero left. So we're really relying on these hogs here. So effective hill is essential uh, in this. But we really only have to worry about point defenses now. Those mortars won't be able to take uh, or keep up with the hogs. Um, but uh, he went ahead and placed a couple wizards for early cleanup, uh, and that was smart because you know you 
these hogs are quick, but uh, if those skellies uh, manage to take out enough, then it's going to be really hard to take out some of these higher HP structures that are embedded in the core of the base. Um, so he's got a lot of hogs left, so it's not even a, an issue as to whether he's going to three-star. So it's a fantastic raid by JB and really nice uh, six-pack. Uh, and these guys... Uh, they're very consistent uh, uh, with these hits and uh, people put a lot of time and effort in, in building a good base and these guys just rip through them <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, speed this up here I don't know why I didn't speed it up earlier You know, pull up the uh, war details uh, once again. Let's thumb through these and, and see which hit we're going to go ahead and pick up and take a look at. Sports buff uh, with a stone. Let's find something a little different. Maybe a La Loon. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at um, Riggle. This guy's got uh, uh, really good hits, and it, I think he used La Loon for both his hits. Um, so this is a really nice six pack by uh, uh, Riggle. Um, the CC on the outside compartment uh, of this base um, is a really, in my opinion, not not very good uh, idea ever, uh, even though you have limited wall space to be able to embed your clan, clan castle. It's just not uh, it's not good to be able to lure CC early and take care of it on the front end. Um, so he's able to take care of it pretty quickly with just the king, a wizard, and a um, queen. So dropping a test breaker um, and then funneling in the uh, rest of the breakers to break up in that wall. We're going to try to take out two air defenses with the queen. Um, and so he's, she's under fire of these cannons in the archer tower, so has to pop her ability pretty early. Um, still has assistance from a couple of those archers, but we do end up getting both the air defenses, no problem. So at this point, uh, he's just going to take out, he's going to start at 6 o'clock with a, a couple loons, uh, throwing down a haste to kind of push them in quicker. So... Um, these these loons are going to be making it through uh, their base, and the honestly the queen is in a perfect position for a rage skelly here, because uh, the wizard uh, tower are focused on the uh, loons or the hound, and uh, not the queen, so we're able to take out that really quickly. So um, trickling in these loons uh, surgically um, and doing it in a, a very effective way, um, very patient, unlike me. I get in a panic a lot of the times, and I'll just start dropping them really quickly uh, just to get them out there. So I've got to take these defenses out pretty quickly. But uh, contrary to popular belief, that's the worst thing you can do. You uh, really need to be patient with these style attack, this style attack. Uh, so really good raid by Riggle. Um, and let me go ahead and show another uh, hit by Riggle as well. So, highlighting uh, both the uh, JBs and Riggle's uh, six pack because they they're just really good uh, good hits. Um, I I really like this raid too, um, and he, he did. You can tell that uh, it wasn't just a YOLO, and it, he 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 planned both these hits. So drawing, he really likes this CC draw with the loons, um, and these a lot of these bases have easy CC lures. So I'm a little confused by that. I don't know what the purpose of that was. I, I typically always put the clan castles uh, embedded in the bases I possibly can. So that the poison is gonna easily take care of that clan castle. Uh, King tanking again. Oh, excuse me. Um. So the, the, the king's getting a little low, pops the ability, and then uh, uh, queen's left standing. Are going to get uh, uh, the remaining skellies, pops the ability, 
and then we're going to end up walking. So we didn't even get that uh, wizard tower or the uh, Tesla. Uh, so I think we had to adjust here, or Regal had to adjust, uh, dropping a haste um, and some loons. And we're going to work clockwise here around the base. Uh, did leave all uh, air defenses standing, which is kind of peculiar. Um, because typically you really will, you really want to get at least one down because it makes it a little bit difficult. Uh, but uh, the uh, Rage Skellies will take care of that queen once again. Um, and similar to the last raid, he's very patient with the deployment uh, uh, and then utilizes that heal spell uh, when he needs it most. And we're coming up on some splash damage, so it's really effective heal. Uh, kind of off. No, it, it was the hill was kind of off, but uh, our loons went back to full health, and we have a ton of uh, lava pups and a wizard on the ground doing cleanup. So speeding this up through this nice hit by uh, Riggle. So uh, really good war uh, all the way around uh, by these guys. You can't really ask for much uh, better of a performance. This is just a, a, a great uh, uh, war for these guys and well deserving, seriously. Um, I will be posting a Town Hall 10 uh, recap here shortly. Been really busy this week, I mean, so I'm really late getting this out, but uh, uh, these guys definitely need some recognition. They did such a good job uh, throughout this war and uh, uh, moving forward, actually, so this is a pivotal uh, point for 2.0. Uh, we're going to be going to the playoffs in uh, one of the wild card uh, as one of the wild card positions. But uh, uh, I'm really thinking that uh, if we keep performing the way we are, that we're going to be able to push through and really take this thing. I mean, but we have some really tough opponents. Uh, uh, coming up and so uh, our bracket I wouldn't say it's easier uh, the left side of the bracket is uh, pretty stacked um, so you know we have uh, a lot of work to do uh, on our end and uh, hopefully we can make it happen so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the uh, war match statistics So ended up coming up top with uh, uh, 124 to 122. Um, like I said, the war, I mean, we just, we just did really good. The, the entire war, hit rates were uh, phenomenal. Uh, the breakdown was 6 Town Hall 11s, 20 Town Hall 10s, and 19 Town Hall 9s. Um, I think our lowest hit rate was our 10v10, but we came out uh, with 4 10v10s, uh, which I will be highlighting. Our 99s was a whopping 66%, so great job there. 92% uh, 11v10. Um, so we did have a dip fill, right? Um, but, uh, you know, where others fall, you pick up the slack in other areas, right? So uh, that's what that's what teams do. And uh, we really uh, uh, got the job done here. So 10v11, we really did good. 10v11 is so hard, guys. Uh, but we did manage to take out all their bases. Uh, at uh, 35, a whopping 35% uh, hit rate there. So uh, really good job there. Uh, we ended up doing 9 uh, 9 v10 scouts, uh, but those are essential uh, for our 10 v10s. And um, I can't, uh, I, don't, I don't know what else I can say. They, they just uh, really did a good job uh, all the way around. But that's all I have for this video, so stay tuned for the Town Hall 10 recap that I'll be posting shortly, and as always, thank you for watching.